give this video a second to load. I'm going to talk a little bit about these energies and going into Sunday's 2-2 portal. So give it a minute for people to find us. Alright, take a second to share this out. I'm going to be doing fairy cards. I really liked them last time. I was doing them like last week, I think. I really liked them. So take a second, share this out. Give me a second to get set up. We have a lot of energy coming in right now, so I'm gonna do a little bit of an energy report. Just give me one minute to share this out. Make sure you guys are sharing this out too. I always need you guys to so bad. It helps get this content out. So take a second, share this out. Drop your name if you're gonna want a card. I'm gonna do fairy cards. I'm about to get started too. All right, we have a theme of dreaming, right? Astral projection and now Egypt today. So it's kind of an amazing week. A lot of people are feeling kind of dreamy vibes. Maybe you're just feeling a pull to rest more, to sleep more. We have a lot of high frequency energy coming in and I'm gonna take a second to just kind of talk about where we are because now people are suddenly starting to notice this. I did wake up to Facebook and I saw someone called this pseudoscience and all I have to say about that is turn on your space weather apps right <laughs> turn on your space weather apps because science is now catching up with what is happening on this planet as well as with the spiritual so we can see that you know the spiritual even though people are not into some of these subjects it is very much scientifically documented the things that we're talking about if you are willing to research and further look into these things so a lot of people are noticing their space other weather apps have been going kind of crazy the past year um, we can see that when people are asking some of these space weather sites what is happening with the planet they say this stuff is complex we have no idea where these energies are coming from and many scientists on this planet are struggling to find out where these huge influxes or bursts of energy are coming from because they are not all sourced from the sun like everyone thinks these are not all solar wind streams we have a lot of galactic energies emerging in with them right we this energy is radioactive it is high in frequency and it's blasting this planet and affecting every person on the planet some people are processing energy differently but I think it explains a lot Lot of what people are feeling and experiencing and maybe going through during this time and like I said we're all kind of taking in this energy differently but it's affecting everyone a lot of people are feeling these shifts and feeling kind of disoriented dreamlike vibes um, we have a lot of ascension symptoms that are kicking off that is normal right where people are saying I don't know that I believe in this but they're not feeling so hot or maybe, you know, a lot of people are starting to feel like prickles on their skin, sensations, chills, having kind of more psychic um, intuition, feeling more and more tuned in, maybe more of a sense of what they should be doing, maybe feeling better in these energies. I think these energies are just amplifying whatever's already going on in our lives. So they're kind of making things intense, so to speak, right? So we have a lot of intense energy coming in. This seems to be the new normal. I am someone who kind of looks at these storms and wants to know where we're headed scientifically and you know these are big questions that are being asked during this time but what we do know is that there's a lot of energy coming in and it is in it is increasing the frequency of the planet so we are going up in frequency right we're losing density with the physical body and a lot is being purged to the surface I have some concerns as Mercury retrograde is going to settle in and we're gonna see that kind of um, pre Mercury period kind of hit on the second and I have some concerns as to the world stage and things that are happening politically and some of the things unfolding in America especially that will kind of kick off with this Mercury retrograde so we're also going to be kind of going into another retrograde but we have an amazing poor hole on Sunday 2-2 two, two, right this is actually a powerful number um, it is you know the same kind of backwards and forwards if you play with the numbers but it's the first time we've had a date like this since 2012 I've been waiting for 2020 for years um, my next kind of big year I'll be waiting for is 2024 we're going to 
see a lot of really powerful shifts that are going to kind of affect consciousness for the next decade unfold this year. So this is a really powerful year, not just astrologically, but energetically as well. We're going into new energies and it's going to require new ways to navigate them. Um, this porthole is huge for relationships. Yes, a lot of spiritual unions will come together from between this porthole and like the summer and the lion's gate porthole. A lot of relationships will come into union. A lot of people that are already in relationships are going to, you know, kind of shift to a higher level with it. Yes, as we're doing this healer it, healing, it's meant to open us up more to love kind of on every level. So a lot of people are going to be feeling a lot better as we're going through this gateway as well. We're going to have a full moon next Sunday. So we kick it off with a 2-2 two -two porthole this Sunday. And next Sunday we have a full moon, which is kind of nicknamed the storm moon as well, too. right? So we can see we're going to go into a lot of really high frequency energy. And this porthole will take us into another whole new storm. Um, so we're going to kind of go into a lot of really intense energy the next two weeks. This is meant to be a good thing. When we go through these poreholes, it's meant to bring you your manifestations, abundance, um, miracles, things you might need, good things. Um, it also opens us up more to, you know, the angelic spiritual energies, all good things. All right, go ahead and drop your name if you're going to want a card. Please share this out. I put up an event because I'm really bad at even promoting what I have going on. I have an event up on this page. It's why I'm live. I have an event up for Sunday for a 222 healing um, meditation. It's going to be a really powerful light body activation as well. And I'm really looking forward to it too. I'm doing this Sunday. I know it's weird I go live on a Sunday, right? It's weird I go live. It will not be on this channel. You have to sign up on my site and I send you a link and you come join on Facebook in a separate group. Um, but it's really powerful to come together during these events. So make sure you guys sign up if you're looking for that video Sunday. I will email you the link once you do. Let's see, we're getting ready to go back to Stonehenge in March. I have an event up for that. And I'm going to be doing some in-person rock circle kind of gatherings this summer too in England. So I'm going to be putting up events. Um, I, I just had to get some good dates together, right? So I'll be looking at the energy shifts, mapping them out, and picking some good dates so some people can kind of get together too if they want to. It's a really powerful time to be coming together for anything spiritual. Uh, make sure you guys share this out too. I always need you guys to. When you do, you get little badges and more cards. Angela, <laughs> Angelica, bent up. And I love it because I'm using these cards again because they have glass and berry on them. And I was like, oh my God, it's the tour, right? The dreamer, embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. Time to start a new chapter. That can be scary for us. We're always kind of looking back like, I hope that doesn't happen again. Um, we've become so far. Time to write a new chapter. You're the author. Step into your power. What do you want to happen? Sometimes we're listening to our mind tell us what's going to happen. Things we might not want to hear. Fears. Things we probably don't want to see. Time to really step into your role and put it out there to the universe. What you want to see happen. Amazing things happen when we step into our role as co-creators. The universe doesn't want to make our whole path for us. It wants us to participate. It wants us to create with it on so many levels. So really think about what you're going to do with this new space. Shannon Grass, Princess of Autumn, Studious Responsible, Happy News About Your Career, Promotions, or Scholarships. Well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. And for sure, we're meant to continue our learning in so many ways, right? Like, it's like I woke up and I'm like, oh, wow, I have a lot to learn. And we probably are always feeling like that, but we're meant to continue our learning. It's everything that we're here for. And it's really important that we're using our time while we're here on earth to continue kind of learning and evolving for sure, time to really um, pick up some new habits, some new interests, <laughs> get some books on weird things you haven't really looked into, time to start kind of studying new things, learning new things you might be into. Every time we're learning, we get a positive chemical reaction from the brain. It literally creates feel good kind of hormones that are good for us. Um, for sure, stay learning. Linda Bonin. 
falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Um, the more we resolve within ourselves, the better our relationships will be. People don't usually like to talk about how it can be really rough trying to make a spiritual ascension while being in a relationship. That's like the ultimate attainment, right? To kind of create balance <laughs> within the opposites. For sure, keep working on your own heart chakra, more forgiveness, more releasing. It will bring your relationship to kind of higher heights as well. The more we open up to self-love, the more that is reflected around us as well. The happier that we can be, the better everything's gonna be around us, right? The better we're gonna feel to people around us too. Colleen Williams. All right, positive changes are on the way. A welcome relief from troubled time. Traveling or relocating. This energy is good. <clears throat> People think it's kind of scary. It doesn't always feel great when we're getting blasted with light. Um, you know, sometimes we have darkness and things that we need to heal, right? And things we're releasing and it's like, ah, the light, like a vampire movie. But it is divine energy. It is good. This storm is coming to move things for us. That could be stuck energy, obstacles, things we're having a hard time. Remember, we need this energy to bring anything we're trying to create into fruition. Um, we can look at a lot of past places and we can understand that they were probably harnessing energies from the earth or from cosmic sources such as the moon maybe these geomagnetic kind of energies and in different ways um, so these energies are really really powerful that's why until like Monday and we're probably in a never-ending space storm now especially till like Monday it's important that we're staying very pure with our thoughts and things that we're thinking about so we can kind of land on better possibilities we're getting moved around a lot right now see Nicole Baltink <laughs> all right do more research before proceeding education in the form of seminars going back to school or apprenticeships excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects and a lot of people will be like that is this card is not for me I'm not going back to school but yes you are you're in spiritual school all day long with every lesson and experience that you have stay open to learning from from my perspective I'm kind of teaching ascension school and doing these videos and um, trying to kind of put my voice out there and to assist with what's kind of going on so we are learning even right now in this moment we're always learning stay open that all of your experiences are learning lessons that your soul needs to kind of proceed and get past this we're always trying to do everyone else's lessons or assist other people because you know a lot of us came very of service but the best way that we can assist during this time is to get past our own lessons right <laughs> to get past these lessons that are kind of being given to us stay focused on your path Elaine Elpstone all right, the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. And a lot of people are realizing that they're not really happy in the world that we were kind of taught how to create. A lot of people are ending up, you know, feeling empty spiritually, getting sick. And I put up a really good post this morning that I really resonate with, with um, are we truly healthy when we're neglecting our energetic bodies? And so there's such a focus on the physical and how people are looking, right? And the physical, and you wouldn't believe how much people spend on weight loss and makeup and dieting and things like that in a year with these industries or pharmaceuticals for that matter. So there's such a focus on the physical. Any type of healthcare really just suppresses um, types of things going on with the body. So, you know, it just is trying to suppress the symptoms. We need to learn how to listen to our body. And we need to kind of get back to this energy kind of basics. Susan Blank. <laughs> Wishes come true. Dreams fulfilled. A magical time of life. Um, and there is magic in the year air for sure. I just did a video um, in our mystery school of the latest group on here talking about Egypt and magic. So I said there's kind of an Egypt theme as well as magic kind of theme with this energy shift that we're going through. Um, I have a group section on this page so you can find any of the groups that I do. So I just did a video on there too. If you guys need some magic in your life, maybe go check it out. Let's see. Annette M. 
Bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple priorities or jobs. An exceptional task for multitasking. We're multitasking for sure. A lot of you guys are conscious parenting. A lot of you guys are holding down jobs in the matrix, focused on spirituality at the same time, trying to handle a lot, right? That leaves very little time for ourselves. A lot of the times we're kind of going through the motions with what is expected of us as in work and the physical and everything like that. And we tend to neglect ourselves in the the spiritual make sure you're putting a lot of focus on the spiritual right now Sandra Kachi all right listen to your heart intuitive insights you can trust taking care of others perhaps too much more heart chakra healing um, I brought the Molokite too we were talking about Molokite and how it is powerful for the heart chakra it's really good a lot of you guys are healers or kind of in healer training or drawn to healing and so this is a really good um, crystal for healers as well more heart chakra work maybe get some Molokite Angel McKee the desire for the most meaningful life. Realizing it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. We're always kind of looking backwards and that's kind of reminiscent where we wish we could go back or we could do this again and we've kind of outgrown the boxes that we've been in. Um, keep moving forward on your path, you know, through spiritual understanding. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get any lessons anymore, right? Because I've been getting hard lessons too, but through understanding the spiritual, it helps us understand our life and our reality better. And then we can better navigate what's coming, um, you know, where we're headed, you know, how to make choices, things like that. It really gives us a better reference point for us or a better compass for living our life. And so it's really important that we get back to kind of the spiritual basics right now especially with all this energy coming into the planet and what it has the potential of doing. I mean, we just talk about a solar flash like it's coming and we don't know when. <laughs> like, right? And we don't really talk about the potential of what this will do energetically to people. And I, it's very important that we are activating ourselves fully, tuning into, you know, our own wisdom, our own intuition, detoxing and purifying the body so that we are ready for this. Nashi and Nash. Ask for help from others, all work and no play, being weighed down with too many responsibilities. Um, a lot of us have become really comfortable in taking on pain of others. We absorb a lot as empaths, just maybe if, you know, negative energy, negative emotions, it could just be like, you know, stress of another person. Make sure you're taking really good care of your own energy. And a lot of the divine feminine might resonate with that as that's part of what we're doing here in this healing, in this work that we're kind of coming together to do. But make sure you're taking really good care of your own energy. Chuck to bows. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment in time or energy. Um, make sure that you are, like I said, investing in yourself and your own energy. You'll notice that the people have changed an awful lot around you going through this experience and you can expect that to continue. This is all about you and finding yourself. Um, so make sure that you are taking care of your energy. I like to think it's our week to rest despite this crazy storm and porthole. Um, I like to think our body needs time to integrate these upgrades and that sometimes we're getting upgraded very fast and going through a lot with the physical and that we need to really rest. And so that's why a lot of people are kind of feeling like, you know, they're having amazing dreams this week, feeling a pull to rest more, maybe meditate more. Katie Kapasser. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. And we're under a lot of pressure going through this experience on earth. And that's really how this all works. It's alchemy of the soul. And through us going through these difficult experiences, we're meant to become better people and grow into who we're meant to be. Um, it's only when we're faced with obstacles that we can find our inner power in dealing with those obstacles and moving them. <coughs> Things like that. Stay focused. A lot of really good things are coming. We're going to see a lot of very positive changes unfolding, especially this year. So as we're kind of raising our own frequency, we're assisting the collective in raising the entire planet. Everyone's kind of waiting for the rest of the planet to like wake up a lot of times. And that isn't needed. Um, we should respect that there's a lot of experiences going on in one place, but through the energetic work we're doing on ourselves, it is assisting in lifting up the collective as a whole. Cindy Camacho, love it. Sending lots of vibes to California. 
Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. Um, stay in gratitude. That's how we can really manifest more things. And if we look around, you probably have everything you've ever asked for. Maybe we're just not asking for the right things at times or we're not, you know, trusting the universe. Anything that we've ever desired or asked for would come into fruition um, if it was in alignment with what is for the highest good of our soul. Stay in gratitude. That will help... Um, kind of get rid of any blockages when it comes to manifesting money. It will really help lim unlimit you. <laughs> Neferti, a 10. Justice. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. And, you know, we need to make sure that we're using our abilities for good and to assist in what's best for everyone. But hang in there. Have faith that things are going to kind of come full circle, especially for the light workers and the ones that have been kind of anchoring in these frequencies and doing this work. Don't mind the cat. He wants to hang out. He's meowing. <laughs> All right. Gina Rodriguez de Villa. Set aside concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation. The need for more sleep or vacation. And like I said, that's the perfect energy report. A lot of you guys are feeling a need to meditate. Just be alone. And, um, you know, that's how we recharge. So that's normal to feel that right now. Or, you know, that could be a lot of going through Aquarius season where people are just feeling a need to pull back, to detach, to focus on themselves, maybe to recharge. Um, listen to your body, though. Emma Bagwell. Wonderful news is on the way. Smart choices that bring reward. Success and public recognition. Let's see. Mallory Lane. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance of how you spend and save money. Help those who are less fortunate. Um, and then we have this thing where a lot of people are always asking to receive and we don't give enough, right? And, you know, you sometimes you guys don't even realize the impact that you could be having on people's lives, right? And we become stagnant and we get focused and money is limiting the entire collective right now. It's a lot of what's keeping people in slavery, keeping people from abundance, from the programming that we have kind of in relation to how we feel about this. But money was always meant to be an energy. So we're seeing a lot of financial issues globally that makes sense because we're having a lot of energetic issues as well so it makes sense that would go hand in hand really work with your sacral you're meant to be a manifester so you're meant to really find your power through manifestation <laughs> april denise Pryor. Reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for a career change, feeling challenged by money issues. And so we kind of are seeing a theme as well. This energy can really unblock us. If anyone's feeling like their manifesting has been slowed down, things are not working out, maybe you're not receiving the things that you put out frequencies for, it's a really powerful time to make a manifesting list, play with crystals, cleanse your crystals, right? Make grids, um, put out positive intentions. We really are seeding the new right now with all of these energies coming in. This is creation. A lot of people are focused on the destruction that may be kind of unfolding on smaller levels and are missing that all of this energy is for us to create something new, the new earth. And we really already are with our thoughts and our daydreams and things we're putting out there. Timurius Patricia Garcia. Let's see. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Time to find your voice. You are a powerful manifester and creator. And that's why this stuff can really help us. Like this was stuff I was getting into and learning and it changed my whole life so fast. Simply through kind of shifting my mindset and working on the everything that I kind of talk about. And so this has been very powerful for changing my entire life and unlimiting me. And so that's that's why I felt a pull to kind of step outside my comfort zone and get on video and to try to kind of convey the things that had helped me on my journey. Find your voice. It's going to help other people. <clears throat> Let's see. Cassie Duncan. 
you get the magician and at the tour, <laughs> this is where I want to be, right? <laughs> this is where I'm, I'm going to find my way back to as well. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. So we see a huge focus on manifestation today. That's what these energies are for. Um, we need to really get up and do the work as well that we're going to have to be the ones to salvage our life. Once we wake up, we're kind of living unconsciously and out of alignment with who we are. And we tend to create kind of a mess with our lives. And once we wake up, we have to be the ones to kind of fix that. Um, so, you know, through living more consciously, more intentionally, putting out better frequencies, we can create better realities and shift our entire situation. Let's see. Beck Smith. <laughs> Time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Time to put the energy into ourselves and what we're learning right now, for sure. Let's see. <laughs> Lizzie VA. It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. How I manifest is generally through visualization daydreaming <laughs> aka daydreaming right i think we have those tendencies especially star seeds and we get kind of hung up on the physical and we're not understanding the power of our mind and how it is shaping this reality and so simply through daydreaming about things that we want to see or experience those are how we bring that's how we bring these you know creations into reality for sure stay aligned with what you're thinking about what you're daydreaming about Cindy Gordon Carpenter, opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. Um, for sure, we have to find internal peace before we can find it externally, right? We're talking about states of, you know, high levels of consciousness, samadhi, bliss, euphoria, things like that. Keep working on your internal state. A lot of times people get kind of stuck trying to fix the external, especially if any of you guys are parents, right? <laughs> you go ahead and you're always trying to do external things, things outside of yourself, take care of people especially, right? Some of you guys parenting have the hardest mission yet. You guys are doing your mission simply by conscious parenting during this time. It is healing a lot. Um, so a lot of you guys are always kind of doing a lot externally. Time to work on your internal state. That's how we're going to manifest, you know, peace and things like that. True alignment. Mindy A. White. Good morning. <laughs> Use logic and uh, structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. And yes, this is where this feed is at. You guys might not understand where this may take all of us. Um, and we're in training right now, <laughs> simply doing these feeds and listening to them. So you guys are in some type of training. I can't begin to be the one to tell you how these events are going to unfold. It's anyone's guess, right? <laughs> but we will be needed in the very near future to assist with this planet. If you are awake, you have been activated for something much bigger than yourself. Trust your path and where it is taking you though. Belia Sainer. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Stand up for yourself. And you know, if we're looking for external validation, that can be bad. I went to do these videos and it made me feel really good when I was getting the external validation and everyone loved it. And then suddenly I had a lot of external criticism, we'll say. Um, that was such a blow to me as someone who kind of put myself all out there and really tried to do this. And then I realized, you know, just how bad that can be when we're expecting that outer validation that what matters is what we think of ourselves, how we're supporting ourselves, right? What we're thinking about it. I mean, it doesn't really matter what externally is gonna occur. So what's important is the internal and how we're feeling about ourselves, for sure. Be more of a cheerleader for yourself. <laughs> I needed to be a bigger fan to myself, right? Let alone all the other ones. And we need to learn how to be bigger cheerleaders for ourselves. More supportive of ourselves and what we're thinking about ourselves, for sure. All right. Amy Harris. The sun. 
plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. Yes, we tend to get stuck very negatively in mindsets where we're not grateful and then it completely cuts us off from our manifesting abilities. Um, simply through staying in gratitude, that is powerful. That is like the highest frequency that we can be in. It opens us up to more love, more abundance, to better energetic alignment as well. Thank you guys for people that are sharing this out too. Make sure you guys share this out. I'm going to put this in there. Um, if anyone doesn't get a card, you're drawn to it. I do Akashic readings, which is, you know, just about everything now. And I also go into past lives, your past life Akashic. I do a lot of healing work on my site. I am, I teach Reiki as well as many other types of energy healing. So I have a whole class section. I do lots of powerful, um, activations with people right? all sorts of things if you're drawn to this it's not random you should probably go check my site out look into this deeper it's calling you <laughs> all right sandy Wu, the star look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains happy changes that bring relief from challenging times and we're learning that we can move mountains and huge obstacles simply with our attitude towards things for sure um definitely you're stepping into a powerful role this life as well we're doing a lot of healing with the feminine um and we're also going to see a rising occur in a rebalancing and kind of a recalibration with the masculine and feminine coming together so you're doing a lot of deep healing we started this healing journey the second we came onto this planet too. We took on a lot of heavy things. If anyone felt like they didn't fit in their family, or maybe like the way they call it, what do they call it? The black sheep, right? The black sheep of your family, um, all signs that, you know, you've been on this deep healing journey since the second you stepped onto this planet, or you wouldn't have had those things triggered within your DNA to kind of deal with and transmute and heal as well. Um, so, you know, you guys have been on this same journey of awakening since you got here. This is many lifetimes in the making as well that we're clearing and assisting with. I see Dale. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. That's easy for me. I have to set aside the logic with any of this, right? It's about how it feels to you, how these choices feel. And when we get in deeper, we know that there is, you know, unseen guiding forces that are leading us. Um, I think it's important that we're going with what feels good for us too. I'm getting a lot of kind of like advice and downloads and information and things outside of myself. And for me, I have to go with, you know, what's in alignment for me? So, right, sometimes the thoughts I'm having are not like in perfect alignment with how I'm feeling, I'm noticing. So I have to really pick what's best and what's in alignment with me. Simple, use your heart. Guys can have a hard time with that though because we've been so logically trained. Um, you know, everyone just put in that center of logic and does this make sense? And the spiritual is never going to make logical sense for you. It's going to be a sense that you feel or right? maybe you just know, um, you know, this kind of force leading you along. Let's see. Lori Hagen, high priestess. <laughs> Trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. And the lessons that we learned were not through the good experiences. Usually, usually we learn more not listening <laughs> and messing up what we perceive will be a mess up. Those were all the lessons too. Um, so sometimes when we didn't listen to our intuition and then something went real wrong, we learn that next time I'm listening to my intuition, right? <laughs> I should have listened to that feeling and here I am kind of stuck. So sometimes our harder experiences taught us more as well, but our lessons should have taught us that we should listen to our own intuition, that we should not be interrupting other people's lessons and karma, and that we should be assisting in other ways, right? And things like that. So for sure, honor your own intuition. Alyssa Thomas, the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. And you know, why did we have so many hard experiences? Simple, so that we could choose forgiveness, so that we could choose love, and that we could break these kind of chains for humanity. So in whatever way, when we agreed to come to earth, you probably would have done it with a group of souls and it would have gone something like this. I'll take some of these lessons and you take some of these. And we're going to divide up these 
lessons that our consciousness group may need um, to kind of get out of these experiences. And so simple. We've chosen to transcend these things through choosing love and forgiveness. It's only ever ourselves that was not, we were not nice to others, but we were not really great to ourselves either. And so a lot of people are blaming these external experiences on the cabal, dark forces. But in reality, humanity was just living very asleep and disconnected and out of alignment with themselves and kind of created this mess around here. And it's up to us through, you know, making better conscious choices to kind of resolve these things as well. More focus on your heart chakra and ways that you haven't always been the best to yourself. How can you fill that lack with more self-love? Ashley Fernandez. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal with time. And sometimes we're taking on a little too much, like I said, of the collective or other people's energies. And it can make people feel a little sad, right? I think that depression might be part of kind of going through this spiritual process as well. Because if people are not feeling depressed when they're completely cut off and disconnected spiritually or out of alignment with themselves, I mean, you know, that's kind of part of the process. So we see a lot of people are kind of depressed or not happy in their existence or life here and that through us you know becoming spiritual and finding alignment this is where we're going to kind of find our bliss our purpose our path as well let's see kevin arcand Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. And 2019 was probably a little bit more about let's listen to these energy reports and this is going to happen. And 2020 is about us stepping into our personal power and becoming responsible for what we want to see occur in our reality. So take people's opinions and anyone saying something to you outside of yourself is clearly just an opinion. Take people's opinions into consideration, but you know what's best and what is best for you on your given path. So for sure, listen to your own internal intuition. You know, if I had listened to my friends and outside guidance and people trying to guide me, I probably would have fallen off a cliff by now. So I think it's very important that we're tuning out outside noise that isn't really in alignment with how we're feeling and we're learning how to kind of navigate our own path at this point. It's very important. Let's see. Mo Sass. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can make your dreams come true. Be open to the people that you're meeting. Suddenly when we wake up, we can have very spiritually connections coming to us. These are not always in relationships. Sometimes your guys are coming together with members of your consciousness group, your soul tribe, people you vibe with, maybe new relationships. Really stay open to meeting new people too. I don't usually draw people by random too with these videos. <laughs> I've gotten a little too good at like staying in my own little comfort zone and own worlds and I do come out and I do these videos but it is so that people can find me you know kind of through remembering my frequency or whatever we're kind of getting matched up vibrationally in whatever regard and it's been so powerful for me to kind of put out an intention for my consciousness group to find me so that we can ascend. Put out an intention that your soulmates find you, your soul group for sure. Let's see, Karen Smith. Do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you. A spiritually minded community, and a lot of you guys know that this is like my dream card, a spiritually minded community that is our future where we align again with oneness and love and come together without any of those judgments and egos in the way and the 3D stuff where we literally vibrate back to a space of oneness. I've tried to get a head start. I did build a bunch of spiritual groups here on Facebook, but when I look around, a lot of you guys have met a real, lot of really amazing connections and people through vibing in some of these areas. For sure, find spiritual groups, spiritual communities, um, spiritual places that are drawing you in whatever regard. You guys know I have that group section on this page and it's really powerful when we can come together. I mean, just doing these videos, it creates such a good kind of energy and channeling it out. So, you know, it really helps everyone. Renita Rigby, 
falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. And this card's for everyone. Um, I'm always shocked at people not wanting to do love for the path. Um, so for sure, you guys should be manifesting love, letting go of that fear that you're going to get one of those bad relationships. That was karma we cleared. <laughs> Try again, right? Maybe you need some manifesting help. Maybe you guys are in a relationship and just want to bring more love into these spaces, more alignment, more healing, things like that. But for sure, we have such a focus on love. Um, people who tend to get readings for me if they're not in a relationship probably will manifest a flame things like that so it is really powerful once we go through this spiritual awakening that we um, draw you know more spiritual relationships to us or even spiritual unions Paul Max time to take action be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams amazing career opportunities um, for sure, let go of fear. You're supposed to be doing something bigger. Are you guys feeling like that? Like we're wasting some of our power? <laughs> Anyone feeling like we were made for bigger things? <laughs> and that we should be doing bigger things. So a lot of you guys are getting good ideas. Um, for sure. So really stay in alignment with the things that you're feeling you should be doing. A lot of us reaching an end goal, like if you guys really had a vision that you wish you were like in a different life or a different person, that's a good place to start. Simply start to visualize yourself where you want to be and the universe will bring you to that role, to that experience. Um, so we can really learn how to better navigate this experience simply through kind of staying more positive about where we want to go or who we want to be. <clears throat> Let's see, Krista Michelle. An emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends, raising ch children wisely, people you can trust. And we're going to see a lot of, um, we'll say, star children on this planet, right? A lot of you guys are parenting or you will be parenting or you will be playing roles and assisting and teaching these children, especially since you're awake and they need spiritual guidance and spiritual assistance for sure. Let's see, Danielle Stewart. Time to let go of the past. That's hard. I live there too, right? <laughs> let go of the past. And if we could do that, we wouldn't be looking at a four to seven year ascension timetable left. If people could just let go and just drop it and be in the now and move forward. But we're having a really hard time, all of you may, letting go of the past, clearly. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. <laughs> Time, the universe gets bored. I mean, like, we can look at past civilizations. I was talking about Egypt this morning and things like that. The universe gets bored and craves new experience. Um, so, for sure, we have a new beginning ahead of us. Let's see. Angelica Grant. Success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. And not everyone has the discipline to become very adept in these things, I've noticed, right? It takes a lot of discipline. Um, I was talking to someone and they don't like some of my answers, right? People don't want to heal because you'll probably have to change everything that you're doing, right? Um, if once we become toxic to ourselves and our energy and our body, we might have to make some personal changes um, in order to heal or really get it back into energetic alignment, which we kind of slip out of it um so this is going to require change <laughs> these are new energies coming in we're going to have to lighten the food that we're eating we're going to have to let go of toxic thoughts behaviors relationships if you guys are smoking or you know on substances that aren't good those are going to have to go um the things that have been blocking you the patterns the programs the things that we took on from our parents tend to ditch all this stuff and so that requires some level of inner work um i've had to invest a lot of money in myself as well in some of the classes that I've had to take so that I could have them to teach or, you know, my own energy to do the work so that I could be able to activate other people. And I will tell you the thing that is setting me aside from a lot of the other people is that I was willing to invest in myself and that I was willing to put time into myself studying and doing the energy work and things like that. And it really shows at this point. So not everyone is willing to do the same degree of work. And that's where we're going to be at with the amount of work that we're putting into ourselves and we get so hung up on the material where everyone's trying to kind of attain the house and the cars and the kids and the American dream not understanding we're here to work on ourselves literally the whole time that we're here ourselves on a soul level um, so time to really focus that energy back within to yourself 
the more energy that you put into yourself, the more energy the universe will put into you too. I've probably found that sometimes when we're not willing to put the work in with ourselves, then the universe may not be willing to either, right? So as much as we're willing to work for this, the universe is going to match us as well. All right. Sita Debbie. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best that you do. Being compensated for creative talents. A lot of this feed might identify with having had financial issues um, going through this experience because a lot of this feed would be energy workers or meant to be. And so once we're disconnected from that energy and ourselves, we lose our abilities. We lose our power. And so through this spiritual awakening, it is meant to empower us, to lead us back to our abilities to our gifts. A lot of people are going to shift to making a mission. A lot of people are going to set aside that job notion, the cat, the job notion and step into more of a mission, a fifth dimensional role um, in assisting and serving as well. <clears throat> Let's see, Cassie Denzer. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement. Honoring family traditions. We're being asked to get back to the basics now, too, with how we're living. A lot of people have been living in excess. We can look at celebrities and see where they're wearing, like, you know, $50,000 watches while we have people starving on the streets and have a lot of kind of system failure occurring where these systems are failing everyone. And that's their job, right? And so we see a system failure that is occurring and people are going to have to get back to the basics and being kind of grateful <laughs> for the basics in life as well. We're being asked to step away from the material and choose a spiritual path too during this time. Logan Tasky. Protect the fruits of the labors. Prepare for possible changes that lie ahead in, with the environment as well. Um, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen as these energies continue to come in. We're going to see a lot of, I say earth changes, just to choose my words carefully on these topics, as to what is going to unfold. Um, literally, we're going to see a lot of changes unfold with the planet as well, where these energies are not just affecting us, they're affecting Gaia, they're affecting the collective, and they're having kind of global impacts. So that's why it's very important that we are working on ourselves spiritually and everyone just thinks, you know, literally we have infinite time to do this. What if we don't? <laughs> what if we don't, right? Um, we never know, right? We're kind of seeing that we are also mortal in this experience and that we really should be using our time wisely for sure. For sure. The small shifts that we make, like choosing better food, choosing less toxins, right? Maybe shifting and getting rid of something bad for you, like smoking, um, letting go of toxic people, maybe just getting rid of like the bitchy family members that just bring you down every day, <laughs> right? Um, let me see, maybe getting rid of the job where your boss is being mean to you and screaming at you every day or things that stress you out. The more that you can let go of the garbage, these little shifts are gonna add up to huge shifts in your life where in a minute you'll just be living a completely different life. But it is up to us to change the things that are, like I said, kind of holding us back. All right. The poor cat. He wants to play. <laughs> He's like... Okay. Marusa Blanzunuza. <laughs> All right. Being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity. Taking someone or something for granted. Discontentment with life. Um, any type of external satisfaction is always coming from within, right? We've become really good at projecting everything as it's this guy's fault. It's this fault. If this had gone better, maybe I'd be happier. If I had this, maybe I'd be happier. The ego is literally fed with external stuff. So the things that make our ego feel bad are generally really good for our soul. Yes, the hard experiences, the hard lessons, that's how we get this soul growth. Um, for sure, make sure that you're feeding your soul and not following your ego because it will always have you convinced that if you had a new car or if you had this amount of money you would feel better about your life or if you had this some type of external stimuli and it never works um, we can see a lot of people that have made it to the top once they made it to the top of the American dream and then suddenly they realize they still have this internal dissatisfaction and that is only going to be filled by the spiritual Mursa Kavik Tamik. 
All right, powerful, intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear. Understanding the truth of a solution. Once we let go of fear, we are uncontrollable. Uncontrollable, humanity, yes. The drama won't work anymore, right? Where everyone starts to panic and gets scared and puts out this kind of energy and frequencies. Let go of fear. We have so much fear of the spiritual too. That's why we don't just come online in one day overnight. People start to have very spiritual experiences and it can scare them. It can leave them kind of confused, only seeing small glimpses, not understanding things, being scared of these experiences. And that's concerning to me too, where people are terrified of the spiritual. That's how disconnected that we have become. But this is meant to be like beautiful the experience, bringing the spiritual into our universe, um, awakening furtherly spiritual, coming into further alignment. All right. Talisi Nova. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. Um, for sure, you guys are needed to step into your role as light workers. Yes, congratulations. Watching this video, you are some type of light worker. And we're going to really be pushed to kind of get into our role with, you know, where we should be. A lot of times, you know, to kind of come into our missions, we should be following our bliss, our things we're good at. Do we have creative abilities? Do we have spiritual gifts? Or is there something that you're just good at and might be a good contribution to the collective? Um, we see a lot of artists, healers, we can say, right, poets, I'll say poets, right, amazingly creative people that have incarnated during this time so that we could shape a new collective for sure. Time to get back to your talents. What lights you up? Jamie Sawyers. There's a better choice, not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. Keep working on your throat chakra. It can be really uncomfortable for us to find our voice, like I said, right? <laughs> Programming, um, but for sure, find your voice, keep detoxing, keep working on your throat chakra, keep purifying. We're gonna figure out that we need to be pretty pure to be able to handle these energies, as a lot of people will probably figure out in the next month because a lot of people are gonna be feeling very intense, kind of like ascension type symptoms, going through these storms that haven't done enough inner work, and it's gonna take a toll on the physical body. So it's really important that we're continuing healing and purifying too, to be able to better handle these energies. Marusa Flanusa. The resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulder, the end of addiction or codependency. A lot of you guys are learning how to become independent in this life. Scary, right? <laughs> a lot of us had a codependency issues centered around, you know, our upbringing and parents situation and in ways that they didn't have healthy relationships. A lot of our parents didn't have the best relationship. That is also kind of a look into your own Akashic and past lives as well because I like to think that we're paying off karma in some regard and that a lot of times these karmic experiences start in our childhood. So we can look at our parents' relationship and see that sometimes we develop kind of codependent needs of having other people around us or thinking other people can help us with our lessons. And this journey, this life is all about reaching within and finding that place of empowerment, doing it ourselves. Time to let go of any unhealthy relationships. And like I said, these aren't always romantic. Sometimes they're friendships. People that cling on to you. It could be um, toxic relationships, one-sided exchanges, things that aren't healthy for us. All right, Christine Starcy Marie. Good. Get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking, unemotional relationships. Keep working on your throat chakra, for sure. Finding your voice. Bria Diane Wade. Love it. <laughs> no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. Anyone else becoming too aware with their thoughts of what's going on around us, right? We're becoming very aware of our surroundings. Don't overanalyze. Everyone's overthinking with this Aquarius energy too, right? All this Aquarius energy, it's got you guys in logic, the mind. I want to think about it. What's going to happen? And just kind of in the head a little too much. Um, time to ground. That's why I try to come do these 
these videos. Time to ground, time to shift to love, and to kind of get out of your head too. You guys are overthinking and overanalyzing, becoming a little too hypercritical of yourselves and others with this awakening. Time to just kind of let it go. All right, I'm getting off of here on this note, but I'm gonna say it again. I have a big event for Sunday, 2-2 Poor Hole. It's going to be huge. Um, one of the first, you know, major gateways that is also um, a number since like since 2012. So we're going through a massive gateway, poor hole. Um, if you like this video, I'm going to be bringing some really good vibes to it. We can do some healing work and guided meditation. If you guys want to sign up, you're going to have to go find the link. I'll try to put it below, but they probably get lost in my comments. But there is an event section on this page. There is a group section. If you guys resonate, maybe come get a healing session, get a class. You guys can always make a donation if you're into this, and you guys can make some big changes in putting some energy into yourselves or assisting.